And one Arizonan wanted to document videos of his journey to send to family and friends so he wouldn't have to keep talking since he has trouble breathing. But when he put them on TikTok, he didn't expect the response he would get. Our Brianna Whitney has his story. Way too old for this. But I finally got something to share, and I know you guys want to hear about it. It began as a simple way to update those closest to him. The fever started picking up from that day forward. Dan Weissman admitted to Scottsdale Thompson Peak Medical Center after testing positive for COVID-19 with a high temperature, low pulse, and trouble breathing. Thank God, because they admitted me right away, and I've been here for five days. His parents dropped off a pulse oximeter to monitor his vitals just days before, and he only knew to go to the hospital because a nurse over telehealth told him. When your pulse oximetry drops like that and it gets words of 85, there's a chance you could lose consciousness. He was given remdesivir, which started to help, but because he would be in the hospital for some time, he decided to get on TikTok. I'll just make like a 60 second video and tell people where I am and that I'm alive and I'm okay. And all of a sudden, like within hours, there was like thousands of hits and, and people like write, writing comments. Many people commenting on his TikToks asking about his experience. Check your temperature, check your pulse ox, get on the phone with telehealth, they're there. And I think people don't realize, I didn't. The video's getting so popular. Love it, man. He brought his nurses into them for some smiles and laughs. Your hair looks nice. You got the salt and pepper going on the goatee. I mean, what's not to like? Thanks, man. <laughs> Dan says he's expected to be discharged this weekend, grateful for the unexpected TikTok experience that helped brighten up his hospital room. I was just blown away how fast it blew up. It just blew up. And so I'm, I think it's great for everybody. And if, if I can help, it's why I'm doing it. In Scottsdale, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.